What's up everyone? In this video we're going to go over the steps you're going to have to take to set up donations on a live stream. Uh, I recommend using Streamlabs. I went ahead and made a bookmark for it and a new account and everything so that way I can show you guys step by step everything you need to do to create one. I'll have a link in the description for Streamlabs OBS if you guys would like to use that. If not, that will also direct you to streamlabs.com by clicking the Streamlabs icon up there at the top left. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, subscribe, hit that bell icon, turn on notifications, and leave a like if you could. But with the website, the first thing you want to do is you want to log in. If you're using uh, Google Chrome, you can log in through YouTube or Twitch, whichever one you're using. This here is the uh, the beta for Streamlabs OBS. The Streamlabs homepage should be Streamlabs OBS, I think, for the download. But we'll go ahead and log in through YouTube. And then select your main account that you're going to use and allow everything. All right, now under this, uh, the dashboard will show the donations here. Also under my donations, it'll show all the donations that you've gotten. This link right here is what you want to copy. You want to copy this link and paste that on your Twitch dashboard or if you're using Nightbot or some kind of chat bot, post that link in the chat bot in the description for YouTube of your YouTube live stream. I recommend doing it in the default uh, descriptions. Uh, you can also view your members if you can have members on YouTube. You can allow shared access. It's a little more complicated to do that. API settings, not sure. There's donation settings. Under this, you, you can set up a PayPal account for donations to go into directly, especially if they're using a PayPal account to donate. I highly recommend setting up a PayPal. Credit cards uh, for US, I know for a fact if you set your bank account up with this, you can have set credit cards go through and it'll send it directly to your bank account. Under your account settings you can link whichever account you're in. If you logged in through YouTube it'll automatically be linked. I've also got a Twitch, Mixer, and Facebook that I've got merged into this account also. You can import from other services as uh, stream tips I think is another form of it's the same thing as Streamlabs I assume. Ankbot is a is Streamlabs chatbot made for Twitch. Stream elements I think would be the same roughly as Streamlabs a donation service. You can import all the settings from those over to this. Deepbot, I know that one's a popular Twitch bot, but you'll have to read the instructions on doing that one. Integration, you can also integrate something like uh, Patreon. I've got Patreon on here linked on my, my main account. So if someone was to become a patron, it would automatically show up. It'd be under the widgets. The alert box is where it would be. Donations, subscriptions, uh, super chats would all show up under the alert box. So I've got Patreon, Discord, I've got the Razor Chroma connected to it also. If you want to add merch, you can add it through Streamlabs also. Alright, so down here, it'll give you a brief explanation of how everything works. But instead of reading through all that, the alert box... To set up the alert box, you would copy this URL and put it in your alert box 
or has a browser source on Streamlabs OBS or OBS, whichever service you're using for streaming or recording. Goals over here, you can add a, uh, a donation goal. This is a sample. We've got donation goals, subscriber goal, member goal. You can add a stream boss, which I'll have a link up in the top right corner of this video, direct directing you to uh, how to set up Streamlabs OBS. It'll be in depth, pretty in depth how to set that up it'll show you how to do all this stuff here also uh, the Streamlabs part won't be quite as in-depth but once I have that done I will put a an icon up top right corner for you guys to get to that it'll go over your goals your alert box uh, stream boss event list the jar Streamlabs stream labels I mean actually that stream labels would essentially be the same thing as your uh, event list but that's something you get to see like subscribers every all the alerts would come through and show up on stream labels stream labels you I wouldn't recommend downloading that if you're going to use Streamlabs OBS but if you use OBS or the other one I forget what it's called it's a monthly subscription on that one you can integrate your or you can use the stream labels with that also but with Streamlabs OBS it already gives you the stream labels in the program uh, let's see donation ticker I'm not quite sure what that is I think that yeah that shows the uh, previous donations it scrolls across your screen you can set that up how many donations you have, how fast it moves, the font, font size, font weight, colors, chat box. If you wanted chat showing up on video, add a chat box. Which, if you're using, if you're using Restream, I use used to use Restream, I had a chat box up so that way if someone on YouTube was trying to chat with someone on Twitch they can do that. Show your viewer count, uh, spin wheel, credits if you want credits to go across your screen at the end of a stream. That's useful if you get a lot of donations and subscriptions per stream. And that is pretty much it. Again, if you guys are new, subscribe, hit that bell icon, turn on notifications, and leave a like if you could. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys later.